Hi, everyone. Welcome to today's live webinar with Down Payment Resource. I am going to turn it over to Steve Mapes with FMLS for a brief introduction. Thank you, Tracy. Well, good morning, everyone. Um, I want to say thank you so much um, on behalf of FMLS. I'm on the executive team. And uh, man, in the last six weeks, I, I, I never thought we'd all be so good at Zoom meetings. I'm, I'm doing 10 or 20 a day, and I know um, many of our members and friends in the associations are, are doing them also. And the, the innovation that's happened in the industry is, is just quite amazing. Um, as you know, with FMLS, um, our goal is to provide you the best products and services that we possibly can, not to do things that require an upsell or some other subscription. So um, one of the, the features this week is our technology partner and down payment resource. This is a great program. If you haven't already discovered it, it is a member benefit for FMLS. It's built into Matrix, and it costs you nothing to use. And my own personal success story, I have a 27-year-old daughter who lives in Washington, D.C., and we have, through Down Payment Resource, found a program with um, a $50,000 down payment assistance for her. So this is a really great program that you can use. And I'm going to turn this over to um, Sean Moss, who's the Senior Vice President of Operations from DPR, and let him do a, a presentation for you. And then we'll open this up to questions at the end of the session. If you want to ask questions as we go, just type them in the chat and we'll answer them as you type them. Thank you. And Sean, take it away. Thank you, Steve. Welcome, everybody, and thanks to FMLS for letting us put this presentation on today. <clears throat> so uh, we want to do a couple things here today. and We've got uh, Tracy Shell, our VP of Marketing, myself, Sean Moss. Uh, I oversee operations and customer support, and we also have our account manager, Fern White, on the line. They will be answering questions in the background, so we encourage you to keep this interactive. Use the questions uh, feature with Zoom, and uh, they'll be in the background answering questions for you, and then we'll have Q&A at the end. Now, we want to talk about starting new homebuyer conversations, new conversations with prospective or new home buyers, and we want to talk about down payment assistance information and programs and give you some tools and some data and some information to empower you and enable you to have confident, meaningful, valuable conversations with prospective buyers or with renters about the possibilities of home ownership. So we'll give you a little bit of information about what's going on with down payment assistance programs. We're hearing a lot of volatility. There's been a lot of um, adaptation in the last two months or so. So we want to kind of set the record straight and, and give you the information that we have collected, the information, the trends that we've detected and, and sort of the, uh, the goings on with regard to down payment assistance. <clears throat> and then we want to talk about how you can leverage down payment assistance data on your listings. I'm gonna show you, <clears throat> excuse me, how down payment resource works in Matrix. And then most importantly, we wanna help you engage prospective buyers and educate your future pipeline. And we have a couple of tools and some information and some marketing ideas and best practices to help you do that. All built around the idea of pre-qualifying for a mortgage, getting serious about home ownership, understanding down payment requirements, and understanding the programs, the opportunities, and, and the help that's out there. So with that, let's dive in. A little bit about us, we track and monitor and keep current all of the information about all home buyer programs around the country. Those are, and we'll see a little bit more about that in a moment, down payment assistance, closing cost help, tax credits, and more. Uh, we integrate into MLS systems, as you will see, because FMLS is one of our partners. So we're gonna show you what this looks like in Matrix and show you this unique property listing data that is appended to your listings in Matrix that you can explore yourself as well as share with clients. And then of course, we'll get into uh, marketing to new audiences, tapping into new opportunities, building your future pipeline. So essentially, we are here to help you connect home buyers to the down payment help they need. In survey after survey for many years, <clears throat> excuse me, many years now, we have heard 
the the uh, the the biggest obstacle, the primary obstacle to home ownership, defined as the down payment. Now we hear student loans at the top of that list pretty often, but saving for or acquiring or accruing a down payment on a home is uh, always one of the top two reasons or obstacles that prevents prospective buyers from even considering home ownership, much less you know getting pre-qualified, talking to a realtor, exploring neighborhoods, properties, listings, and so forth. So we want to get them off the sidelines. We want to get them off the bench. We want to give them the education that they need. And we want to empower you to do that so that they understand down payment doesn't have to be the obstacle to home ownership. Now, as far as the kinds of home buyer programs that are out there, there are dozens and dozens of programs just across greater Metro Atlanta, more across the state of Georgia. Uh, but most of them by and large are down payment or closing cost assistance. Now that's a pretty broad description. Those can be grants, which are you know, a, a gift at closing, doesn't have to be repaid. There are second mortgages <clears throat> that can be, um, they can have deferred payments. They can be forgivable. Sometimes they're repayable. There are all manner of different down payment assistance programs. Uh, and we also track like Georgia Dream, for example, where you get your mortgage through Georgia Dream from a participating lender and uh, they offer down payment assistance with that as well. So um, I'll point out quickly a couple of very popular programs and, and ones that you should be looking for uh, just because they're, they're more broadly available. Georgia Dream is from the state of Georgia. It's available statewide, $5,000 in down payment assistance, more for uh, protectors, educators, nurses, or disabled household buyers. So they can get up to 7,500. Invest Atlanta does great work within the city limits of Atlanta. They have several uh, unique and flexible down payment assistance programs. Um, Decide the Cab has a DeKalb County program, <clears throat> um, great down payment assistance program. The Cobb Housing Authority has a great program. There are a couple in Gwinnett County. Uh, there are a few in, uh, uh, let's see, Henry. So. Uh, you know, we encourage you to, to use these tools we're going to show you and understand the options and the opportunities that are out there. And there are so many across Metro Atlanta. So uh, with that, let's look at what's going on with down payment assistance. We've been getting a lot of questions from realtors, MLSs, loan officers, lenders, housing counselors, home buyer education providers, consumers about what's really going on with down payment assistance. So to kind of set the record straight, all state housing finance agencies are open and are accepting reservations, including the Georgia Department of Community Affairs, who, who administers the Georgia Dream program. Um, they're open, they're accepting reservations, they're, uh, they're funding down payment assistance. Uh, state and local programs are still widely available. Invest Atlanta, Decide to Cab, Cobb Housing Authority, many of those local city and county programs. They're all still open, they're all still funded, they're all still providing down payment assistance. Now, the market is fluid. So some products or some pricing options may be paused or suspended. That's probably not permanent in most cases, but there's been a lot of adaptation in the last couple of months. And so these down payment assistance program providers, like any mortgage lender or all of us, they're having to adapt to fluidity and volatility in the market. Um, as you can imagine, Home buyer education, which is commonly a requirement of down payment assistance programs, is being offered exclusively online. Uh, housing finance agencies were quick to react to Fannie and Freddie and HUD and other guidance and changes and policy updates and so forth. But we feel like, and you can't quote me on this, but we feel like we've kind of hit the tail end of those sudden changes and adaptations. Uh, we've even seen some DPA providers hosting video calls to touch base. And we would encourage you to touch base with these down payment program providers and get the latest updates from them, learn a little about their program, see what kinds of marketing resources they offer for you, what are they up to lately in terms of providing um, you know, content, customizable content, and so forth to help you get the word out about these programs. But big picture, DPA providers, down payment, down payment assistance providers, they're open for business. I will say remote work as we're all doing, remote work has impacted turn times in some cases, but that's not just for DPA programs. So I don't want that to be misconstrued as DPA is gonna slow down a transaction. Everybody's dealing with that, right? So 
Um, let's not blame that on down payment assistance providers. So I hope that helps. We wanted to make sure that we set the record straight about what's happening with down payment assistance. Um, so I'll move on from there, but if you have any questions, use the, uh, the Q&A feature with Zoom and Tracy and Fern are in the background helping you out with that. All right, now, this is sort of to take stock of where we were. And typically we have a few more uh, studies and illustrations to, to illustrate this point. But if we go back three months, four months, five months, we were starting to see a lot more information come out suggesting that the consumer, the prospective home buyer, was learning more and more or becoming more and more aware of down payment assistance programs. This survey actually came out in January of this year. So right before all of this pandemic hit, uh, it asked potential home buyers, where did they plan to get their down payment from? And among millennials, the, the second most common answer, second to saving money for a down payment, was to use home buyer assistance programs. What that tells us, or what that was telling us at the time, was that renters and, and first-time home buyers, especially the younger generation of prospective buyers, they were coming to, to learn about and understand and appreciate the value of home buyer assistance programs or DPA, down payment assistance. So in order to uh, keep moving them forward, let's all ourselves recognize the opportunity that down payment assistance provides and meet the needs and the desires and the expectations of these prospective buyers by bringing attention to those details and those opportunities. That's our primary goal today. Now, how can you serve buyers? And I'm almost gonna read this verbatim because we think it's so important right now. Education is so important right now. Be a trusted advisor, provide information or value added information that will help buyers prepare for the future whether it's the near term, immediate future, or looking six months or 12 months down the line even. When we are past all of this pandemic, uh, buyers are going to want to work with people and companies or brands who were there to serve them and educate them and keep them informed during a time of crisis. And most importantly, they will tell their peers, that's your referral network. So how can we bring that value added education and information to them? Let's get into that and discuss that. Now, I'll show you a few things that you have access to in Matrix, and then we really wanna to focus today on marketing and education, tapping into that audience, getting information in front of them. But you have some tools in Matrix too that give you a, a head start or a leg up in that game. Uh, this, this icon you see on the left, the dollar sign with the check mark, when you see that on a, on a listing inside Matrix, it means two things, one, that property based on location and price is eligible for some number of down payment assistance programs. It might be one, it might be 15. And, and we'll tell you that. So the second thing it's, it allows you to do is to click on that icon and see on the screen from, from that listing right there in Matrix, which down payment assistance programs or which home buyer assistance programs are available specifically for that property and then the details, the benefits, the assistance amount, and more regarding each and every one of those programs. So when you see this, this icon on a listing, and I'll show you this in Matrix in a moment, but when you see that, just click on it. It will tell you right there on the screen all of the different pro programs that are available for that property. Now, um, eligible properties are flagged automatically every night. So when you see this icon in Matrix, it's because every night we are updating Matrix, point being, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to fill out a field. You don't have to set a flag or anything like that to trigger that icon to display. It's all automated. So we'll see if you list a property today, we will see it tonight. It will have the down payment resource icon on it tomorrow if it's eligible. Now, because that's based on price, if you list a million dollar penthouse condo tomorrow, you're not gonna see the down payment resource icon because that property is too expensive to qualify for DPA. But Inside the metro area, uh, up to maybe the mid 400s, you'll see it. Uh, Georgia Dreams max price in metro is is 250. So uh, basically anything under that is going to have the icon. And then you mix in all the other local programs around the metro area and, and abroad, and you'll see that icon on eligible properties. So again, I'll show you that in a moment. The other thing we want to do today is show you where to get your down payment connect link. So. We are down payment resource. We integrate into Matrix. 
one of the products that we also offer as part of our suite of, of agent tools is called Down Payment Connect. You can get to that by going to your matrix dashboard, or I'll show you another way from fmls.com. Uh, click on Down Payment Resource in the External Links section, which will take you to our DPR dashboard. You see the link at the top? That's mine, that's for a test account, but yours will be there waiting for you. It will have your name at the end of it, so you'll know it's unique to you. That's Down Payment Connect. That's gonna be the second half of this webinar that we're gonna get to in a couple of minutes. That's all about marketing to the consumer, engaging people on social media, letting them know that down payment help is out there, um, talking about financing options, down payment requirements, and getting that information in front of them. And you know, that could be email, your website, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. We'll go through a lot of examples and show you real live examples of how that tool is being used. And then we provide you with uh, marketing resources to help you uh, you know, integrate this down payment connect tool and the idea of down payment information into your marketing. I'll go through that in more detail, but again, that's right there from your DPR dashboard, which you can access from Matrix. So now I'm going to hop out of slides here and I'm actually going to log into fmls.com. Let's start there. So I've logged into fmls.com. I want you to see all of this as you would experience, uh, you know, the, the website, Matrix, and DPR as an FMLS member. So from FMLS.com, I go to products. If I wanna to go to matrix and I want to find listings or send listings to a client, then let me do that. Now I've done a search here for properties in the city of Atlanta listed at 230 to 240, 230,000 to 240,000. What I wanna show you here is two things. One, if you look out to the right, now sometimes depending on how you have your, your uh, agent single line set up here, you might have to scroll out to the right, but you see this DPR column here. I'm gonna move that around so you can see it. That's our little dollar sign icon. If I click this, it's gonna tell me exactly which programs are, are available for this property, 2945 Collier Drive. So I'm gonna click that, and it's gonna tell me there are 14 programs available that can offer up to $20,000 in down payment help. And that's not an aggregate, that's the, that's the most available from the best of, of those 14 programs. So there's a lot of variation here. There's a, there are a lot of options, but you can scroll down. You could email this to yourself, to your client, to your loan officer partner. So, so any of those parties had a record of what was available for that property, but you can also get details about any one of these programs. If you wanna learn more about the hardest hit fund from Georgia Dream, click next steps. Participating lenders, right there. So if you want to find a loan officer partner that provides these programs, uh, there's a way for you to do it. That's a very common question we get. I'll also say, talk to your loan officer partners, your in-house loan officers, the ones you've worked with over the last quarter, two quarters, year, or so forth, and ask them about down payment assistance. They may offer these programs and it just may not have come up in conversation because you hadn't had a client in the past that you know, thought about it or would have qualified or whatnot. Uh, but there's all kinds of other information here too. Um, straight off the program provider's website and, and guidelines and materials and so forth. And then on down the list, you can see all these other programs, the state programs, local programs, housing authorities, city programs, there's Invest Atlanta. There's so many options across Metro Atlanta and we show you all of them for each individual listing. Now you can also go to the, the listing detail page and there's the, under the picture, there's the, uh, the dollar sign again, right? So if you click that, same thing. We'll give you all the details about every down payment assistance program available for that property. And then on down the list of properties, you'll see that icon on each one of these if it's eligible for any down payment assistance at all. Okay, now that is your agent view. That's how you see that a property is eligible, which programs it's eligible for, and explore the details. But what about your clients? What if we go back to agent single line and we say, okay, well, I, I think these couple of listings would meet uh, you know, this one client's needs, they would be interested, or you've got them set up on an auto mailer to get them listings that, that pop up with their, their criteria. When you are sending listings to a client, Here's the matrix client portal. This is what they get, right? They get an email with a link that brings them here. FMLS has recently 
uh, on your behalf or on behalf of your clients, put down payment assistance front and center so that when your client is looking at listings you sent them, they'll see this find down payment help button uh, right here on the tile view and they can click that. Now that's gonna, it's gonna show them how many programs may be available for that property. And of course it's property specific still. So at Lake Manor Way, we know that there are 14 programs available, but now this gives you, or your client rather, the opportunity to say, okay, well, we've got three people in the household and our income is 68,000. Does that exceed the income limits of any of those programs? Yes, it does in that case. Uh, if the income were lower, let's say 45,000, that doesn't exceed the income limits of any of those programs that are available. But there are other opportunities here too. If they wanna tell this tool that uh, they've got a military background, well, that opens the door for Georgia Dreams Pen Program, for the PenFed Foundation Dream Makers Grant, and for other opportunities unique to those who have a military background, who have served in the military or are actively serving. And then there may be additional opportunities, let's say they don't have a military background, but somebody in the household is a teacher. There's a few more programs, right? Um, educators would qualify for Georgia Dreams Pen Program. Pen is protector, educator, nurse. All right, so in that manner, your client can add information about their household scenario and then see all of the programs that are available to them. Now that's from the matrix client portal. So you already have a relationship, you've got their email address, there's some sort of relationship there. So they're your client, they get a little more information. Now what I wanna do is I wanna go back to fmls.com and if we go to products, in that same menu where we went to matrix, you can go to down payment resource. Or if we go to your matrix dashboard, let's go back to the home page here. In external links, you can go down to down payment resource. Two different ways to get to our DPR dashboard where you can get your down payment connect link. So the next 20 minutes here is gonna be about showing you down payment connect, examples of how it works, how you can get creative, what other people have done, including among your peers here in Metro Atlanta, so that you can creatively engage a new audience or with a new message. Now, let me uh, shut a few things down here because I have to play consumer. Uh, well, first I'll, I'll tell you what, here's the DPR dashboard. So again, whether we go to fmls.com, go to products menu and go to down payment resource, or if we go to matrix on the home page in the external links widget, we go to down payment resource. That's gonna take us to our DPR dashboard. Right here at the top of the page, that is your down payment connect link. Now again, my, this is my demo account here. So yours will end with your first name underscore last name. It is unique to you. Any consumer that does anything from the page, from your down payment connect landing page, comes back to you and only you. And this is a way for you to take down payment assistance and go outside matrix and market to consumers to attract their attention, to engage with them, to start new conversations with them. So I'm going to show you what the consumer experiences from down payment connect. And then we're going to dive into all of the resources that you have at your, at your disposal, as well as uh, case studies and, and success stories and examples of how it's being used. But first, let me, uh, let me play consumer here for a moment. So this is my down payment connect page. Yours does the same thing. If a consumer lands on this because I posted it on Facebook or it was in my Instagram bio or I put it out there on LinkedIn or I added it to my web page, or I sent out an email campaign with my down payment connect link and some info about down payment assistance. However, the consumer gets to this page I wanna show you what they experience, and then we'll go on to how do you market? How do you get creative? How do you have fun with this? All right, so the consumer comes here, they can search one of two ways. If they have a specific address in mind, they can plug in the street address and the zip code. If they have, uh, maybe they haven't gotten to the point yet where they've got a specific address in mind, which may be the case for a lot of the people that would be using this tool, they're not far enough along to have a specific address in mind. They just wanna know what's available in Fulton County or what's available in Atlanta or what's available in Gwinnett or in Marietta or wherever. Uh, when, 
when they add a location, we start the process of matching them up to programs. Now, anything else they enter is optional. They don't have to enter anything but location. We just have to know where they want to buy a home, whether that's a city or a county or a neighborhood. Uh, we just need to know where they want to buy a home. Then if they enter anything else, we will account for those details. Let's say they entered a purchase price of 300,000. Well, in Metro Atlanta, there's still gonna be some programs available, but that's gonna exceed the purchase price limits of Georgia Dream. So we're looking at Invest Atlanta and maybe a few other programs, but there's still opportunity there. Now let's say the purchase price was 230. We're gonna have a lot more options, right? If we dropped it even more, let's say 150, we have even more options. So we will account for any additional inputs they provide. And then if they say, uh, let's say, uh, I, I own a home right now, I'm not a first time home buyer. There are still a couple of opportunities. So it's important to understand a few myths. These aren't just for first time home buyers. Repeat buyers are eligible for um, a lot of programs as well. Uh, it's not just low income. We just saw a $300,000 purchase price in Atlanta and we still had eight, eight DPAs available. So uh, it's not just low income either. If I say, uh, let's say $80,000 for a household of, of one, a single person, right? Still two programs. What if that's a couple with, a, with two kids? 10 programs at, at $80,000 income. All right, so point is, uh, there's a lot of flexibility with these programs. So uh, bear that in mind and don't be afraid to bring it up and Tracy will tell you, our VP of marketing, she's answering questions in the background, but now is a good time to over communicate. Get the information out there. Consumers will always appreciate more information, more education. So don't be afraid to over communicate right now. Okay, so I went through the form. I told, the, I told this form, I told Down Payment Connect where I want to buy a home, but this is outside the MLS now, right? I'm not tied to a listing. I didn't get a listing from a, from, you know, a real estate agent. I just found a form from somebody that said they could help me find down payment assistance. And I said, I want to buy in Atlanta, but I'm not connected to you yet. I'm a consumer who found a message who, who, who's, who's realtor, potential realtor partners message resonated with me. And I went and did this search. We want them to connect to you. We're going to tell them, Hey, there are 17 down payment programs or two or five or whatever that number is. Right but we're not gonna give them all those details. So until they connect with you and until you get the chance to have that conversation, bring them into your pipeline, get them set up on your marketing, um, you know, and maybe introduce them to your loan officer partner and so forth, we're gonna, we're gonna put up a contact form here. Then they're gonna fill this out. You're gonna get information about these programs they found, all of their contact info, uh, whether or not they're working with a real estate agent, have their preferred method of contact. And by the way, this question is just so you know if you have to follow any reciprocity rules. That's the only reason it's there. Uh, and then they're going to click get program details. And when they do, that's going to send an email to you. That's your email lead. Then it will send an email to that consumer. They'll get the name and how many dollars they can get from each of those programs. But they're not going to see all the links and details and all that other stuff. We want them to call you and have that conversation, give you the opportunity to engage with that consumer and to educate that consumer. So I wanted you to understand the consumer workflow, the consumer experience when you're using Down Payment Connect so that we can look at some creative use cases, what other people have been doing with the tool and um, uh, give, you, give you some ideas for how to get it out there. So one last thing I'll show you here is um, when you go get your Down Payment Connect link, there will be on our DPR dashboard links to other resources as well. So let me quickly show you those. Uh, let's see, I messed that up. All right, so we'll go to Down Payment Resource from FMLS.com or from Matrix. We got our link here. Look at this, <clears throat> Down Payment Connect. This is just some basic how to get started information. I would encourage all of you to go to Marketing Resources and even our blog. We have a consumer-oriented blog that produces content once, twice a week. Um, it's a steady stream of content. It has been for years. You can use that stuff. Take those messages and repurpose that. Um, you know, use those messages on Facebook, on your social media, in your email marketing, 
we want you to leverage that content to engage a new audience. But marketing resources is going to give you all kinds of graphics, social media formatted graphics for various social platforms. You've got customizable flyers, including in Spanish. And then you've got other video tutorials and a few other things. So I'm going to walk you through this quickly. Uh, graphics, you've got uh, just some standard you know, DPR branded graphics here. Find down payment help. Down payment money is available. Get down payment help. You can use these in your email signature. You can use them on your website. You can, you can use those images on social media. Or speaking of social media, we have separate social media images that have been formatted for various, uh, the, the, the image guidelines of various platforms. So Facebook formatted images, uh, Facebook ad images stripped of most of their text to meet Facebook ad guidelines. We've got Twitter formatted images, LinkedIn images, and Instagram too. And these are some, this is a, a really nice collection of, you know, what we think are very attractive uh, images that you can use to your heart's content in all of those platforms or elsewhere. But we wanted to supply you with a, a series of graphics that you can take out to your marketing that speak to down payment help. Now, customizable flyers, you can take these and use these in, uh, you know, in nor normal times, we would say, use them at open houses, um, you know, bring them to a, a listing meeting when you're trying to win a listing, um, send them out as mailers. So keep those ideas in mind for the future. But even now, you can use them in email campaigns, you can open these up, there's a section for you to add your contact information. And then the whole, the whole thing just speaks to down payment help and how to and, and, and driving them essentially to your down payment connect tool. And as I mentioned, we have a few Spanish language options as well. Then you've got video tutorials. These are just kind of how to's to help you set up, to find your, your down payment connect link, um, set it up on your website, set it up in your email signature, some basic ideas for social media. Uh, a couple of things the, the last two things I want to point you to here, we have an entire uh, social media DPR training module here. It's about an hour long, I think. And it was created by our partners at MGIC, which is a private mortgage insurance company, one of the, the big ones in the industry. And their social media experts put this together and uh, combined social media with Down Payment Connect to give you very specific tips and tricks and best practices for social media usage of the tool. Uh, it's a great presentation. It's done by social media experts. So um, give that a whirl. And then the last thing I'll show you is our Down Payment Insiders Facebook group. So that's a collection of people around the country, realtors, practitioners around the country, working with first time home buyers, working with DPA providers. Join the group. Tracy in the background curates that group. She keeps, uh, she keeps the, the group engaged. There are thousands of realtors around the country sharing stories about working with down payment assistants, loan officer partners, um, first time home buyers, and so forth. All right, now, uh, I probably spent a little too long on that. So let's jump back to our slides here. And I wanna show you how to share Down Payment Connect. How do you use it? You know, how do we get creative? How do we have fun with this? How do we engage these new audiences? So I'm gonna just run through some, <clears throat> some examples here. First of all, add it to your website. If you have control over the content on your website, if you've got your own website, or even if you get one from your brokerage and you, know, you can tweak content on the homepage or navigation items and so forth, add down payment assistance, or more specifically, add down payment connect to your website. You can see here, uh, Brian has added this uh, right under the fold on his homepage. He's, he used one of our graphics. He added a paragraph just to explain what down payment assistance is and another uh, click here button underneath that so that consumers know what, what's gonna happen when they click the button. They're gonna find down payment help. That's a great start, a simple start. Didn't take but you know a few minutes to write three, three sentences, put a couple graphics on there and drive people to your down payment connect page. Now, taking that idea a step further, Susan, embedded the down payment connect search form onto her page so this is called an iframe but instead of linking them out to the page that we host she took the 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 url of the page we host 
and created a page on her website that had an, what's called an iframe, which is basically just an empty block of content where you see the down payment search form. And instead of building out content there, she just pointed that, that iframe to the down payment connect URL. And so the search experience happens right there on her page, which is cool because the user never leaves her page. Her info is at the top. Her navigation is at the top and the left. She, she, you know, her, her face is on the experience the entire time the user stays on her website. So uh, that's another creative idea. Uh, you know, maybe talk to whoever helps you run your website about how to do an iframe if you want to do that. And uh, all of this, by the way, everything about Down Payment Connect is mobile responsive. So here's a, a realtor that drives people through social, uh, social media content and posts and so forth. And because our experience is mobile responsive, down Payment Connect, of course, adjusts to device size and orientation and so forth. So it's great for social media marketing. Uh, create a new page for buyers. So you see our, our Down Payment Connect form. This is Angela's Down Payment Connect form. But notice we're actually on her web page. And if you look at the top navigation on her site there, she actually created a navigation link at the top of her website that says Down Payment Assistance. And when someone clicks on that, she used the idea of an iframe and just instead of having words and copy and content and graphics on the page, she just produced the down payment connect form. But again, we stay on Angela's page and she added a navigation item to the top of her website for consumers to find out about down payment assistance. And then of course, through down payment connect, personalize that experience and search for programs available to them where they want to buy a home. Optimize your emails. You can add Down Payment Connect to your email signature. Here you see, in this case, a loan officer, but it could be anybody. Uh, added a graphic at the bottom of his email signature. Now we've cut this off from the entire email just to show you the, the signature section of his email, but he's got his contact information and other resources, ending with a pretty prominent display of Down Payment Money is available. That graphic is a link to Down Payment Connect. So that's just one of many ways you could leverage Down Payment Connect in email marketing. Not to mention the idea of, of, of emails with content about Down Payment Assistance and links to Down Payment Connect in the actual content of your email messages. This is just showing you an example of using Down Payment Connect in your signature itself, such that every email you send out provides the recipient with the opportunity to explore down payment options or forward that on to someone else and say, hey, you know, I got an email from, from this realtor, check out this link at the bottom. You said you wanted to buy a house, see if there's down payment help out there. Uh, video, this is a great way to engage people, um, great way to keep messages short, but personalize, you know, humanize yourself in the experience. So it's not just a post, it's not just copy, but it's a video, it's action, it's you. It's, it's, you know, the face of your brand, your team, yourself, your business. Um, this particular example, and I'll show you a couple other video examples. This is a team in Richmond that uh, put together a video introducing the idea of down payment assistance. You know, who is it for? What's available? What does it mean? How does it work? And then this web page they created goes on to explain in a lot of detail um, you know, what does profession mean for down payment assistance? Uh, what does military service mean when it comes to down payment assistance? What about geography? How does that change eligibility, uh, income, all of these things? You know, they, it's really a great primer on down payment assistance and they wrote all that copy themselves. So it's a great play. It's got video, it's got education. And, you know, obviously you'd have to sit down and write, write content like that, but uh, we can tell you this was actually featured in Inman News uh, several years ago as a great way to engage the consumer, uh, cover a new topic, implement education, and make it a seamless, attractive experience. All right, so um, here's another idea. Create a home buyer checklist. What are the three or four or five things, if, if you had to tell a, a potential first-time home buyer, that they need to do to get started? Turn it into a checklist, make it a one pager, send it, post it, email it, um, you know, later down the road, uh, mail it, um, you know, have it ready in, in print when we can get back into open houses and face to faces and all that. 
But often, I would think, a lot of you are saying, hey, you know, you got to get pre-qualified. That's one of the first things you need to do. Well, part of that is consider your down payment options. Where are you going to get your down payment from? Do you have it saved up yet? Did you know about down payment assistance? But a checklist, a first time home buyer checklist or a do these things first or a top five starting points, things like that. Those are just many different ways to get at. Um, create a checklist, give them something actionable, give them specific steps they need to take and you can incorporate down payment assistance into that, that checklist and make sure they start thinking about it. Facebook campaigns. So now we're getting into social a little bit more, but also back to the topic of video. Raul here, he's in Austin, Texas, uh, also uh, a veteran, and he created a series of videos for first time home buyers. I think it ended up being about 10 videos, and he sent out one a week and he tried to engage people, educate people with each video. One of them was about uh, where do you get your down payment from? How do you find down payment and closing cost help? He had a, a video dedicated to that. He ran one video a week for 10 weeks. So it was a 10 week campaign. And all the videos were, you know, one, two, three, four minutes. Nothing super long, right? Nothing um, uh, super edited. Just, you know, face of the brand, face of my business kind of stuff. Quick hitting videos. And one of the topics was, what are the down payment requirements? Um, how do I, how do I find down payment help? And as a veteran, his mission is to serve veterans. So he talked a lot about VA products and VA mortgages and so forth, uh, but covering closing costs with these programs for veterans and often underlooked benefit. So point being, uh, if you've already got some social media campaigns, incorporate down payment assistance and specifically your down payment connect tool to enable consumers, not just to learn about the topic, but to search for programs for them. Highlight success stories, whether it's on Facebook or um, you know, anywhere, highlight stories about clients that you served who got down payment help. Highlight the program, if they're okay with it, pictures of them, their backstory. Um, and of course you could do it anonymously if you had to, but if you can get permission from your client to share their story, what program did they use? How many dollars did they get for down payment help? What was the experience like? And then get that story in front of you, their peer network, right? So that's, that's a great way to start generating referrals from deals you've already done. Facebook videos, um, explainer videos. This was a video that a team in, in the Twin Cities made about uh, finding a lender that helps with down payment assistance. And they have two or three lenders lined up that help them with first time home buyer loans. They've got, gosh, they must have 20 different realtors on their team now, uh, all focusing on first time home buyers. That is quite literally their business. And they partner with their, their loan officers to talk about uh, pre-qualification and down payment and so forth. So again, leverage video, make it educational, hyper-focus on a topic like down payment assistance and educate people about what's out there. Um, here's another example of adding a down payment assistance link to your page under advice for buyers. This is in Seattle. Uh, they've got a link that just says down payment assistance. That's it. It goes to a page with a little bit of content and a link to down payment connect. So it can, again, be that simple. Facebook ads. If you're running ads, leverage down payment connect, point them to that page. You can see an example here of just a two sentence call to action. It doesn't have to be complicated. Just make it simple to understand and compelling to, to uh, engage. And speaking of ads, uh, speaking of Down Payment Connect, I'll leave you with this. That particular agent, she's in Indianapolis. Uh, Marilyn found her Down Payment Connect landing page to produce leads more successful than Zillow, which she had paid for in the past. So FMLS members, you have everything we just showed you for free. There is no upsell, there is no freemium, we're not gonna charge you, we can't charge you, we literally don't have anything to sell you. So, uh, other than the idea of leverage all the content and resources we've talked about, even on Instagram, post it there too, we know you can't link, but use Linktree to add links in your bios or any other tool that allows you to do that. So, hopefully that gives you a lot of ideas, whether it's email, website, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, video, um, Last thing here, look for participating lenders. Talk to your lenders. These are the experts that are going to help you. Develop partnerships. Talk about a first-time homebuyer strategy. 
make sure that you and your loan officer partners are in sync and on the same page and have the same vision for how to handle incoming first time home buyer clients and how to have conversations about down payment requirements. Also, touch base with Georgia Dream, Invest Atlanta, Decide to Cab, Cobb Housing Authority, Gwinnett Home Stretch, all these other programs around Metro Atlanta. Talk to the program providers. They put out content too, marketing, you know, flyers and um, you know, information that can help you. They do training, they do events. Now, obviously I know we can't really do that right now, but for years they've been doing events, you know, meet and greets and, and things out in the community. Go to that stuff, engage with the provider, network with, the, with their staff, um, you know, attend their events as a way to meet new clients as well, <clears throat> or loan officer partners and so forth. Um, highlight information about your local programs. Take all of our data and talk about it. We, we want you to go into Down Payment Resource, learn about Georgia Dream, Invest Atlanta, all these other providers, right? And talk about them with your clients. Tell them, hey, Georgia Dream, $5,000. Are you a teacher? $7,500. Take that data and go use it. And when the time comes, go to a first-time homebuyer class and hear the, hear the content as the, the educators present it and take that to your marketing. So I apologize. I went over by two minutes. Um, I hope that it was worth it, but it looks like we still have a massive audience. So um, Tracy, Fern, Steve, can we get into Q&A? Are there some trends we're seeing in the questions or unanswered questions we can address? Thanks so much, Sean. Yes, we have a huge group and you guys have kept us very busy during this webinar. So we're trying to get to all your questions. Um, yeah, Sean, I wrote down a few questions that we're seeing come up different times. Um, so let's do kind of a quick hitting round here and see how many we can get through. Um, first question, are these programs only for first time home buyers? No, many of them allow repeat buyers, even current owners to use the program. And also remember, the definition of a first time home buyer for these programs is someone who has not owned a home or had ownership interest in a home in the last three years, three years. And there are exceptions to that even. So um, short answer is no. And that's why you should look into some of these programs and talk to the providers just to know, you know who, is, who is my audience? Who is the audience for this program? It's not just first time home buyers in many cases. Great. Okay. Next question. We got a lot of this. So some agents are saying, Hey, my preferred lender is telling me these programs aren't available. Um, are they, or are they not? Um, Sean, can you get into a little bit about participating lenders in general and how, and actually how to find that when they get those program results? Yeah. So I showed you earlier, when you go to matrix, when you're looking at listings, um, well, I'll give you two ways. One, when you're looking at listings in Matrix, if, if you as an FMLS member, as, as an agent, are in Matrix, you're looking at listings on the agent reports, you're in the listing detail or the single line, click the down payment button we showed you earlier. That will give you the programs available for that property and a button on each program that gives you the details of those programs. The first detail you get is, is a list of the participating lenders as published by the provider themselves of that program. The other way is when you're, when you're using Down Payment Connect, every lead you get, your lead email includes links to details of every program that lead found. And again, when you look at the details of a particular program from the lead that you get, uh, participating lender lists are one of the first things you see in those details. I will also clarify, those are not our lender partners. Those are the lenders who have been vetted and approved by the DPA provider, and also the lenders themselves have, have opted to participate in that program. So Tracy, anything else? Did Sorry, Sean. Sorry, I was on mute. Um, okay, another question. Um, can these programs be used for, can investors use these? And can they be used for second homes? No, owner-occupied primary residence purchase only. So um, these are not for second homes. These are not for rental properties. These are not for vacant lots or commercial. These are for owner-occupied primary residences, um, single family. There are some programs in some markets, though it's not particularly common in Georgia, 
that can be used, where, where these programs can be used for duplexes, triplexes, or quads, but that would be the limit. Okay. Um, Sean, one other note, um, Nikita actually just commented that, because there were some people saying, hey, I'm, lenders are saying Georgia Dream is gone, um, and it looks like they're referring to the hardest hit fund leaving this year. Um, I don't know if you have any more detail on that, Sean, but um, I think that's a good point. I do. So, so Georgia Dream has, or is, Georgia Dream is a series of down payment and mortgage products offered by the Georgia Department of Community Affairs. Um, typically, it's a first mortgage and $5,000 for down payment assistance. They have the, the PEN version, Protector, Educator, Nurse, which offers people in those particular professions up to 7,500. And then there's the choice version, which also offers that additional DPA for disabled household members or home buyers. Then the hardest hit fund was, was a one-time allocation from the federal government that went to major metro areas. And I, I, you know, we get weekly updates on, on hardest hit fund. The last I saw, there was still money for dozens of transactions. They have done so many. I mean, that was a big pot of money and they've done hundreds and hundreds, maybe even over a thousand or two transactions over the last couple of years with hardest hit fund. But that pot of money is coming to an end. I want to be clear though, hardest hit fund was a one-time pot of money. That may come to an end this year. It depends on the pace at which people apply for, qualify for, and close. But Georgia Dream and the $5,000 down payment assistance and the pen version and the choice version, those are separate. Those are not funded by Hardest Hit Fund. They've been around for many years. That's their core product that remains and Georgia Dream remains open for business. Great, thanks so much, Sean. I think that helps. We did get a lot of questions about Georgia Dream in particular. Um, can, I, can I toss one in, Tracy? Yeah, go right ahead, Steve. Mm -hmm. The very most popular question uh, has been, will this session be recorded and will you send it to me? The answer is yes. Yes. Um, every Friday, I send out um, the first to know market update and we will embed a recorded link so you'll be able to go back and, and look at this. And also, FMLS support, customer support is still open six days a week, just like we always have been. So if you need help or if you have questions, you can call 404-255-8660. Uh, we will be glad to help you. Oh, great. Thanks so much, Steve. Yes. Um, Sean, I'm going to hit on a couple more questions. And then Steve, also jump in if you see any other ones that you want us to address live. Um, uh, Sean, one question we got was, um, can if I have a listing or if, or if a agent here is about to list a home, can they find out the eligibility of that property before they list it? Yes, I'm actually gonna let me go show you that because that's a great this is an underappreciated or undervalued use case. So yeah. I'm gonna go into down payment resource from Matrix, so uh, right here on the external links or do it this way too. Let's go to fmls.com products. Let's just go straight to down payment resource. So we have a tool and hang on a sec, it's gonna log me in. Um, we have a tool called the pricing widget. And uh, here it's, let's see. I think it's pricing tool. Pricing tool, I'm yeah. sorry. Um, it, it is a widget, but it's called the pricing tool. So where you went and got your down payment connect link and all these resources, if you go down the, the left side here, DPR pricing tool, the middle blue button, let me pull this up and show you. So you here, you don't have to have a property listed, but a great use case for this, this product is, or this data is if you're trying to win a listing, if you go into that, that property owner and say, Hey, I can generate more foot traffic to your listing, to your property, if I show potential visitors and their, their, their agent that down payment assistance help is available for this property. That's a great way to uh, expand the audience that you're marketing to, expand the, the um, attractiveness of, of the property by, by telling people, especially when you're talking about first time home buyers and that first time home buyer price band, right? So I could plug in um, 
gosh, I don't know. I'll just, I'll make up an address. 1900 Howell Mill Road. What would that be? Like 30318, something like that. Um, there are 17 properties available if it's listed at 150. Now on Howell Mill Road, I'm probably not being realistic here, right? This is right downtown, but um, let's say I listed it at 240. What happens then? Well, there'd be 14 programs. What if I exceed that Georgia dream threshold and I list at 260? 240 to 260, that's a realistic, subtle change, right? Well, now we go to eight programs. Okay, it's narrowing, but what if I listed it at 350? Still have eight programs. What if I got up to 400? five programs, right? Can I get up to 450? And then what's available? Four programs. And you can view them. You can actually see the programs. So um, I wouldn't answer every question by illustrating, but that's a wonderful use case. And we, when, when we hear it, we think, man, why don't more realtors do that? You know, go into a seller and say, hey, I can increase foot traffic. I can add value to your listing. Check this out. How many more buyers would be interested or would come see this property if they knew they could get a little help buying it? And you know what? Maybe that seller is a little mission oriented too and would love to, to provide that opportunity to a potential buyer. So anyway, hope that helps. But yes, you can absolutely do that. Oh, great. Thanks, Sean. Um, just a couple more here. Um, can a buyer get approved for a down payment assistance program before they pick out a home? Yes. Well, so that can go both ways. It really okay. does depend on the DPA itself, on the program itself. Some programs mandate that you get pre-qualified and approved even for the down payment assistance plus the first mortgage, right? Because all these buyers are getting a mortgage. Um, some programs require that you get pre-qualified for the mortgage and the DPA before you shop for a home. Most certainly before you sign a contract on a home. There are some programs that do the opposite. They want you to have a contract on a home and, and, and have gotten that far and of course, you will have gotten a pre-qual letter for your first mortgage, but they want you to get that far before they will accept an application for a DPA. So there's no one way. It can go both ways, both ends of the spectrum. It really just depends on the program. Back to the point of leveraging your experts, work with your loan officer, because the ones that, that do these programs often, they know these nuances, they know the protocol, they can help you set expectations. Okay, great. Um, yeah, and we'll take one more question. Um, we did, I did see a few questions about this. When an agent gets those the the detailed email that shows them the the results, it's basically your lead email. Um, what is the the first? What would be your recommendation on the first place to start when with reaching out to that home buyer? Um, maybe showing them participating lenders. Um, or just highlighting what they might be eligible for? What would you recommend there, Sean? Um, so a couple things. So first, before you put your down payment connect link out there, I would sit down for 10 minutes and I would, I would create that script. You know, and it may be different for everybody on this call. There may be hundreds of different ways to approach this, but I would sit down before I push down payment connect out there and I would for five or 10 minutes just think about what is my script? What is my answer to that question? And it may be, um, you know, pick up the phone and call them immediately. It may be um, send them a text. Hey, is it okay if I call you? Or, um, you know, it may be let me follow up immediately with an email about one of the programs they found and then pick up the phone and call. Whatever. There's, you know, there's no one right way to do it, but I would say think through what your answer is. What is it you want to provide? But I would call them very quickly. I would probably offer a little bit of insight into one or two of the different programs they found and say, hey, by the way, you know, that, that Georgia Dream, that'll get you five grand, but it looks like you're a teacher. That's another $2,500 in down payment. Um, I would absolutely introduce your loan officer partners early in this process. Um, you know, even if that's just via, via email, copy your client, send it to the LO, say, hey, you know, loan officer, I got, I'm working with, you know, whoever and they're copied here and they really want to get pre-qualified and explore these down payment programs. You can even forward the lead and say, here are the down payment programs they found and they were searching for a home in Decatur. So anyway, I hope that helps, but I would say to everybody, what's your answer and spend a couple of minutes thinking about that and how you want to provide value and how does that work with your marketing practices and your brand? Yeah, exactly. It's a great, 
It's a great, what we hear from agents is that it is a really good conversation starter. And you'll have a lot of those details, like for example, where they can get their home buyer ed, what participating lenders, um, you'll have access to that, that, those details that you can send to them. But in short, it's a great conversation starter um, for yeah, folks who may be sidelined right now. And Tracy, that's a good point. Um, home buyer education, that's required on a lot of these programs. I would absolutely introduce that early on. Don't let that be a hiccup down the road. Just get it done now and set the expectation that, you know, if, if you're going to get a down payment assistance program, let's figure out the one you're probably going to get. And let's go ahead now and do the home buyer education course. And they're going to learn a lot. You're, you're going to have a better educated home buyer, you know, two weeks, two weeks later, once they finish the course. Great. Gosh, we have gone 15 minutes over, got to as many questions as possible. Um, thank you guys. What a great group of folks. Um, Steve, anything else you want to share to close us out? Well, just to recap, um, Sean has on the screen right now your info email address. So if your questions didn't get answered, please feel free to shoot an email. Uh, you see it there on the screen. Or you can call FMLS customer support Monday through Saturday. 404-255-8660. And that number's on your fmls.com homepage. Um, and, and I want to say thank you to the team from Down Payment Resource. Sean, great presentation. Tracy, Fern are our primary account team. And I saw Rob Crane, um, their CEO, answering chat questions. You guys have done a great job. This is a great product. I hope it helps our members. Um, during this weird time when we've all changed our businesses and uh, hopefully as we um, as, as we go back to business as usual it's something that you can use so thank you everybody who is on the call thanks to our members and please reach out to us if we can help you in any way